I want to install the sheet metal at the front end in order that I can make sure everything lines up and I haven't got any real big problems. I'm pretty confident and I'm really looking forward to seeing the sheet metal on the front. Got it all lined up. So I've got all of this sheet metal to reinstall. Um, I don't really know how it goes. I have painted up some of it, as you may remember from previous videos, um, and other bits not so much. I didn't get to uh, shop blast in all of it. Um, hopefully some of it's new as well. Some of the sheet metal was just completely missing from, from the truck when I bought it. So I've sort of scrounged it up from various different places. Facebook's really good for people helping out. I've, like, I guess, made some contacts through there, and people with advice and different bits and pieces. But yeah, I wanted to do this because, as you know, I've got the floor kind of uh, in. I've done quite a lot of welding on it, and I just want to make sure it all lines up and all fits. Did that cowl, completely replaced the cowl. Um, I've tried the doors on, but I haven't had the front sheet metal on since I've did that. And I really want to see if it all works. And you know what? I'm really quite excited about seeing the front end on again. I think this front piece... I think this front piece is missing a piece up here. It wasn't installed with it. And it's like rubbed through on here. And it's rubbed through on here as well. And again, someone from Facebook was kind enough to send me this picture which kind of shows that there's a piece of metal that needs to go in there so I'll probably pack it out with a piece of wood and see if it fits that's why I haven't painted that piece yet not just because I'm lazy um, yeah so I haven't painted that piece yet because I kind of feel like there's going to be some movement adjustment but anyway once all the front end is back together it will be able to come off as one unit and then I guess I can rest it on this uh table I made for the cab when I'm installing the engine and such but I'm really excited to see it all back together got the front wings on I literally have no idea the order with which you're supposed to put this back together but it seems to be going all right inner wings went on I kind of yeah so there's a bit of a bend in the um in the floor where I've welded it I guess it should be real straight so what I'm going to do later on is put a cut in that and see if I can't close that up a little bit and uh, straighten it up advantages of making the floor out of two millimeter steel it's nice and sturdy disadvantages is very difficult to work with would i do it this way again yes would i have some accurate measurements to go off also yes
worth kind of looking back together. Could not find the bolts for the hinges and then when I found a bag with it labelled on, they're not the proper shoulder bolts, so I'm either going to have to get some or make some in order that the bonnet will fit properly. Sorry, the hood, American car. Yeah, and it looks pretty far from fitting properly at the minute. Look at that gap. It's almost as though someone's had a go at it to try and open it at some point. But I think that's a fight for a different day. There's a little bit of uh, pulling out to do and stuff like that. Because don't forget that I, the bonnet was split here and I put it back together again so it's all over the place. But we're not looking for perfection, we're just looking for together. happy with how I got on today. Couldn't resist but try that bumper out. I tried that brake booster and it really didn't go on too well. You know, if you know how that would fit, I can't quite figure out whether it should go here or here or behind it or whatever. But, you know, I'll probably end up just designing a laser cut on my own one. It just kind of feels like it's overall best solution. But it's nice to get the sheet metal back on the front. I'm really pleased with how it's all looking, to be honest. It's nice to see it kind of back together. None of these front panels fit properly. I mean, there's a huge gap here. I can't see that getting any smaller with the better fitment on the hood. I've got to get some shoulder bolts for the hood hinges because they were just regular bolts. I didn't realize that. So I'll either buy some or have some made. It's just a spacer needed, really. And if I have my own ones made, they'll be correct for the size. I think the hood's going to need a fair bit of manipulation to get it, you know, out backwards ways and boy. I see a lot of guys on Facebook asking how to fit the hoods and I get the impression it's a real pain in the ass to get done right. But you know what, I'm not going to be too fussy about getting it perfect. I just want to drive it. I just couldn't resist getting the bumper on, didn't need to, but... I just think these trucks look really, really weird without a bumper on. Could have fitted the doors. I know the doors are fitting okay with the floor, how I've done it. And perhaps I should fit them, but I guess I should also do a load of welding, but I'm not going to tonight. Just because it's gotten a bit late. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you've got any questions about this build, just let me know. If you want one of the English Charlie stickers, then ask me and I'll send you one out. Oh dear, so injuries. <laughs> Are you all right? Do you need a hospital? No. A wet nurse? <laughs> <laughs>